boys and girls. Welcome to Little Lamb Story Time. We are so glad that you can join us. And we have Carly with, with us here in Mason. And we have little Nacho. And today we have a new friend. Her name is Gracie. And she will be joining us today. So I hope you can uh, join us too. And our story time today is Joseph's New Coat. But before that, why don't we bow down and have a word of prayer? Dear Father in heaven, thank you for loving us. We love you too. Thank you for all the stories in the Bible that teach us what a good God you are. Help us to always remember to pray to do everything for you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Joseph lived in a tent, a large strip tent, out in the country. Jacob, his father, owner, owned many, many sheep. Joseph's ten big brothers herded the sheep on the hill round about. Joseph and little brother Benjamin took care of lambs. Hey, like our story name, right? Yeah. That had no mothers. Joseph and Benjamin fed the lambs from little clay bowls. They put their fingers down into the warm milk and let the lambs suck, suck their fingers. The lambs' tail wiggle, wiggle up, and wiggle, wiggle down as they drank their milk. It was the lamb's way of saying, the milk is good, so warm and good. It was springtime. The days were sunny and warm, too warm for a coat. Joseph folded his coat neatly and put it away. He wouldn't need it until the chilly wind blew again. The sheep were too warm in their woolly coats. Bah, bah, they call. We want our coats off too. It's time for to share the sheep, said jo Jacob. Joseph and Benjamin brought the clippers shears. The big brothers laid the sheep down on the cool green grass. Clip, clip went the clipping shears. The sheep were as quiet as could be while they were getting their wool caught. The brothers tied the wool into bundles and put it away. The sheep looked different. With their woolly coats off, the lambs didn't know their mothers. They run here, they run there, they cry, bah! Bah. But soon the mother sheep found their last little lambs, just as Joseph knew they, they would. During the, br the bright summer days, the lambs grew almost as big as their mothers. Joseph grew taller and bigger. Benjamin grew bigger too. By the time the chilly wind began to blow, the sheep had grown new wool coats. Joseph went to get his coat, but oh, oh, his coat was warm. Winter coat was now far too small. Go bring a, a sheep wool, said Father Jacob. We'll make you a new coat, a coat of many, many colors. Joseph brought a bundle of wool. He brought the color pot. They color the wool, red and yellow, purple and blue, orange and green, and some they made black. They hurled the wool in smooth spinning sticks and made it into a fine wool thread. Jacob twirl, Joseph twirl, 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 whirl, whirl went the spinning sticks. Longer, longer grew the thread. Benjamin wanted the wool thread into his, his spools. 
Jacob set up the weaving frame under a spreading, spreading oak tree. Up and down, up and down, Jacob wound the frame with the wool thread. Then in, in and out, in and out, in and out, through the threads, he wove a blue stripe. In and out, in and out, went the weaving shuttle, green stripes, purple stripes, orange stripes. Day after day, Jacob worked until Joseph's coat was just the right size. Joseph tried on his new coat of many colors. It was long like a man's. It had sleeves. It fits you, my son. It fits you, said Jacob, well pleased with their work. It's a pretty coat, said Benjamin. It's a fine warm coat, said Joseph. Thank you, my father and brother. Well, little boys and girls, that is the end of our story for today. So we hope to join us next time. Goodbye. Bye.